I told y'all this weekend, you're going to give birth to something. And how many folk know that when you're getting ready to give birth to something, you don't need to be connected to people who are not interested in what you're giving birth to? Some of us are keep going, uh, some of us keep going through the same season because we've not learned how to transition people out of our life. Y'all better talk back to me in here. Some people are only in your life for a season. You cannot make somebody temporary be permanent in your life. If God has only called them to be seasonal, you'll find yourself getting frustrated trying to make somebody permanent who's only supposed to be seasonal. So look at the person next to you today and say, watch your company. The first thing you got to do for where God's taking you, you got to watch who you're hanging around. Because everybody ain't concerned about your destiny. Y'all better talk back to me. Now you got now you gotta be careful. Because you got some people who will smile in your face, but'll talk about you behind your back. So slap somebody else. Say be careful. Slap them. Slap them. Slap them again. Say, be careful. Just because you have people in your corner today don't mean they'll be in your corner tomorrow. The same people who were saying, Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna were the same people saying, crucify him. So you always got to be careful. Somebody say, be careful. I know I told you to go to 1 Corinthians 2 and 9. Go to Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. Then when you leave Genesis 1, 26, we're going to go to Proverbs 18, 22. Then we're going to leave Proverbs 18, 22 and go to Psalm 119. <laughs> Genesis 1, 26. Now, I bring my Bible for pulpit etiquette, but I'm really, I'm really, um, trying to learn the Bible by heart because the Lord spoke to me. He said, son, the more words you get in you, the more valuable you become to me. I said, what that mean? He said, I don't watch over your flesh. I watch over my word. I said, what that mean? He said, well, if you don't have no word in you, ain't nothing for me to watch over. So you got to get full of the word because when you get full of the word, God becomes obligated to you. You didn't hear what I just said. He's obligated to bless you. He's obligated to move for you. He's obligated to deliver you because he will not deny himself because he is his word. St. John 1, in the beginning was the what? The word was with God and the word was God. You cannot separate God from his word. You cannot do it. He is his word. My God, he said he exalted his word above his name. He is his word. Genesis 1, 26, I believe it says, and God said, let us make man lay hands on yourself say that's me. that's me let us make man in our own image and after our likeness and let them lay hands on yourself again say that's me, that's me. now notice something gonna bother me in a minute something to bother you because he's calling them them but it's only one person on the scene at the time he's calling them adam but eve ain't even showed up yet but he's still calling of them something is wrong <laughs> let us make man in our own image and after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, the fowl of the air, the cow of the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. Is that what your Bible say? Yes. When God gave that commandment, God was talking to Adam. God wanted to see, watch this, how he operated on earth. And the only way he could see how he operated on earth is he had to make somebody to imitate and mock him and do everything that he could do. When God created Adam, he did not make Adam a copy or, or, or what you call a duplicate. But when God made Adam, he made him a master copy. There's a difference between a duplicate and a master. Even though it says the same thing and does the same thing as the master, it does not have the same quality. 
when God created Adam, he created him. Bless God, I'm a preaching here. When God created Adam, he created him with the same attributes, the same character, and the same quality as himself. That's why if you notice, the last two letters of Adam's name is the name of God. Exodus 3, who shall I tell him sent me? I am. Look at the last two letters of Adam's name. Am. So when God created Adam, he just added am and put it on earth. Did you get that? Did you get that? Now, Adam is on earth. Adam was the God of this world. Adam was so much the God of the earth that whatever he spoke, God agreed with him. God said, Adam, you name the animals. And if you say it's a giraffe, I'm going to agree with your decision. Because I've given you dominion over the earth. I need you to look at somebody and say, I got dominion. dominion. Come on, I know you don't look like it, but lay hands on yourself and say, I got dominion. dominion. Tell somebody else, you better be careful how you treat me. Because I have dominion. See, people always look at you, but they don't know what's in you. But if they knew what was in you, they'd be careful how they treat you because you got power to speak things over their life. Come on, tell somebody else, be careful how you treat me. I got dominion. Adam, if you look at that giraffe and call it a giraffe, that's what it's going to be. If you look at an elephant and say it's an elephant, that's what it's going to be. You look at a snake and call it a snake, guess what? That's what it's going to be. Adam, you're really not saying anything new. You're just tapping into my mind and agreeing with what I've already said. Pay attention. Ecclesiastes said, God created everything, right? Then on the seventh day, he rested. Now, God don't get tired, so that don't mean God went and took no nap like us. That just means he ceased from his works. And the Bible says in Ecclesiastes that everything that the Lord does, he does forever. He don't add nothing to it, neither does he take anything away. So nothing pops up on God. Here it is, Adam. Look and look at a giraffe and says a giraffe. And Adam think he done came up with a new revelation. I named the giraffe. He didn't come up with nothing new. He just agreed with what God had already did. I got to prove that. Matthew 16 declares, whatsoever you bind on earth is already bound in heaven. So when I speak, I'm not declaring anything new. I'm just speaking what God has already spoken. Are, are, are you getting what I'm saying here? Watch this. Genesis 1 and 3. And God said, let there be and there was let there be and there was. let there be and there was. let there be and there was. that sound like a song don't it let there be and there was. let there be light and there was. now notice it went from present tense to past let there be and there was. that means when God speaks it is dictum d-i-c-t-u-m and factum he says it and he's not going to do it. He's already done it. When God speaks, it's not going to happen. It already happened. That's why when you come to church, you praise God not for what's going to happen, but because you know it is. Y'all ain't talking to me in here. Look at your name and say, everybody in my family is already saved. My business is already going forward. Everything that I need is already done because God said it. Slap somebody, tell them it's already done. I'm coming. Am I getting on y'all nerve? Tell the truth now. You go to hell if you tell a lie. Yeah. yeah. Am I getting on y'all nerve? God said, let there be and there was, right? Let us make man in our own image. God created Adam. Gave Adam dominion. Over the fish of the sea, fowl of the cattle of the earth, every creeping thing creepeth upon the earth. Now, I don't know who I am until I understand who God is. 
because I was made in his image and in his likeness. Well, what is God? You have to, when you go home, St. John the fourth chapter, Jesus said, I must needs go through Samaria. And when he got ready to go through Samaria, woman there, a woman, look, Jesus looked at the woman and said, give me something to drink. She looked at him and said, you being a Jew and I being a Samaritan, you know we're not supposed to have dealings one with another. Jesus said, hold on, woman, if you only knew who was asking you for something to drink, you would have asked me to give you something to drink and I would have gave you something where you never thirst again. She said, well, look, I need some of that. He said, well, before I give it to you, I want to ask you a question. Where your husband? I ain't got none. He said, you're right. You got five. <laughs> and the one you're with, that ain't your husband. Look at your neighbor and say, stop shacking, stop shacking, stop shacking. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> that ain't your husband. She said, You're right. I perceive you a prophet. Let me ask you a question, Dr. Jesus. They told us we're to worship in the mountains, worship in Jerusalem. What do you say worship? What cometh and now is? Well, the true worshipers of God are going to worship him in spirit and in truth. For God seeketh such to worship him. John 4, 24, for God is a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in what? Spirit and in truth. Well, if God is a spirit, I need to find out exactly what a spirit is. St. John 6, 63 says, It is the spirit that quickeneth, and the flesh profiteth nothing. For the words that I speak unto you, they are what? Spirit and they are light. God is a spirit. A spirit is a word. I can prove it. John 1, in the beginning was the But hold on. Anything that was ain't no more. You, 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 you go to school. Anytime you saw was, that means it was what? Past tense. Can't get around it. Beginning was the word. The word was with God and the word was. Well, what's going on? Where in the world is the word at if it was? When you go home, read verse 14 of St. John chapter 1. And the word became flesh. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming now. The word that was with God inside of a body the name of that body was Jesus Jesus is what you call the Theoanthropos Theo meaning God Anthropos meaning man he was the God man he was so much man it was hard for you to believe he was God so much God is hard for you to believe he's a man he was born of a woman, but he was begotten of the father. <laughs> Isaiah 9 says, for unto us a baby is born, but the son is given. See, the son couldn't be born because the son always was. So the baby had to be born, but the son had to get in the baby. Did you get that? Look at somebody and say, God, man. You ain't dealing with any kind of man. I did. He, he's enough man to feel sorry for you, but enough God to come and save you. We're talking about Jesus now. As a man, he cried and died. But as God, he went to the cemetery and said, Lazarus, come. 
As a man, he fell asleep on the ship when the storm was raging. But as God, he got up, looked at the storm and said, peace, be still. Am I helping somebody? As a man, he felt sorry for the multitude. But as God, he fed the multitude with two fish and five loaves of bread. Now watch this. This is the word that became flesh. I was made in his image and in his likeness. That means that I imitate him. And if God is a word, I got to be a word. And if the only way that God can operate is through a word, the only way that I can operate is by his word. I was in prayer one day and the Holy Ghost said to me, son, I'm going to teach you how to talk to the devil. I went and got a pen and paper. Went and sat at my room for 30 minutes. 30 minutes later, I saw a demon come stand at my door, but it was shaking. Some of y'all don't even understand. You scared of the devil, but the devil scared of you. The Bible says the demons believe that there's one God and tremble. <laughs> uh, so the devil came, 30 minutes, the demon came shaking. And I'm waiting. 30 minutes, hour done went by. Now, the Lord finna tell me how to talk to the devil, so I'm finna write a book on this. Bless the Lord. Because God told me. <laughs> Listen, hour, I'm waiting. Nothing happened. 30 more minutes go by. Nothing happened. I ain't finna go by that door. <laughs> nothing happened. Another 30 minutes, nothing happened. It's two hours I've been waiting. So I looked at God, I said, now Lord, now I done, I done got my pen, I got my paper. You told me you was getting ready to show me how to talk to the devil. I'm ready. He said, I just did. I said, no, I've been sitting here. I just showed you how to talk to him. I said, how? He said, you don't. You just say what I say. You don't got to talk to him. I already spoke to him. Y'all ain't hearing me in here. I, you didn't hear what I just said. That's why Jesus looked at the devil and said, it is written. You don't got to tell him nothing new because God done already said what got to be said to him. Look at somebody and say, I ain't studying the devil. Don't pay the devil no attention. I'm coming. So I'm a word. Only way I can reproduce me is by the word. That's why I got to be careful of what I say, how I say it, because by my words, I'm snared, and by my words, I'm justified. I can talk my way into a miracle, but I can talk my way into a curse. Hebrews 4 and 12, for the word of God is quick, powerful, sharper than any what? Two-edged sword. The word of God has a double reference. The same word that can bless you is the same word that can curse you. If you obey it, you get the blessing. If you disobey it, you get the curse. The same word that can lift you up is the same word that can bring you down. The same word that can heal you is the same word that can kill you. Am I making sense to you? Isaiah 119, if you be willing and obedient, you eat the what? Good of the land. But if you refuse and rebel, you'll be devoured by the sword. The same word that came to bless you. When you obey it, it's the same word that will curse you if you disobey it. That's why whatever God tells you to do, just do it. I was pleased. I almost started crying when I uh -uh, seen a young lady tonight singing the song. They brought back to my remembrance the word of the Lord that I gave her last time she was here. I said, get back in church. You get the enemies after you. And she's in here. She ain't in here. She in here working and singing and anointing. Come on. Now, lay hands on yourself. Say, I'm a word. Come on, talk like you got some ghosts in you. Say, I'm a word. I'm talking about the Holy Ghost now. Okay. <laughs> say I'm a word when well, you understand that I am a word I must be careful of what I say 
how I say it. The Lord spoke to me about a year and a half, two years ago and said, son, the church is taking my name in vain. I said, I don't. Yes, you do. I said, no, Lord, I'm saved. I mean it. When I say your name, I jerk and shout and buck. I mean business. He said, the church at large is taking my name in vain. I said, how? He said, what's my name? I said, Jesus. He said, that's my name that was revealed in the New Testament. But what did I tell you my name was in the Old Testament? I said, you said it was I am. He said, well, tell them every time they say I am sick, they just took my name in vain. Every time you say I am broke, you took his name in vain because his name is I am. Did y'all get that? That's why you say I am the head. Y'all ain't talking to me in here. I'm above and not beneath. I am the lender and not slap somebody and say I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed. Anytime you say anything contrary to what God is, you take his name in vain. I am sick and tired of being sick and tired. You saying that about God because his name is I am. Lift your hands say I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Come on say I'm healed. I'm healed. Say I'm delivered. I'm delivered. Say I'm the head. I need y'all to say that like you mean it. Say, I'm the head. I'm the head. And not the tail. And not the tail. I'm, above. I'm above. And not beneath. And not beneath. I'm the lender. I'm the lender. Not, the not the borrower. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. In, the In the city. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. In the fields. In the field. I'm, blessed. I'm blessed. When I come. When I come. I'm, blessed. I'm blessed. When I go. When I go. My house is blessed. My children are blessed. My hands are blessed. My business is blessed. I'm blessed. On the right. I'm blessed. On the left. I'm blessed. In the front. I'm blessed. In the back. Say neighbor. Anyway. You look at me. Guess what? I'm blessed. I'm coming. I'm coming. Can, y'all can handle me for 10 more minutes. And then I'm a minister to you. Now some of y'all scared. You think I'm going to call you out or something. Go ahead and repent right now while you got a chance. Put it under the blood where I can't see it. <laughs> repent. <laughs> ah, That was funny. All right, listen. Lay hands on yourself again. Say, I am a word. I am a word. Now, in the beginning, was the word. Word was with God. The word was God. Is that right? Yes. Now, I've been made in the image and likeness of God. Women, when the commandment was given about dominion, he did not exclude women. In the beginning, women were not excluded. Genesis 1, 26, Adam was there and so was Eve go to Genesis chapter 5 verse 1 then we're going to read verse 2 but we're going to start at Genesis 5 do y'all mind reading the Bible I love the word Genesis 5 this is the book of the generations of Adam is that right in the day that God created man in the likeness of God made he him. Keep going. Male and female created he them. And what? Yes. Bless who? Yes. And called their name. Adam. Hold on. <laughs> called his name or called their name? Yes. Called their name Adam. So in the beginning, Adam and Eve glory to God were birth called Adam Eve watch this 
was in Adam in Genesis 1.26. She just didn't have her own shape yet. She was in it. But it wasn't until he went to sleep that she got her own shape. Then she came out of Adam and he called her womb man. Womb man. You understand why she called womb man? Because Adam was wounded for her to get here. <laughs> and it was really a dress rehearsal for what was getting ready to happen with Jesus and the church. Now, I ain't going to get into that because that's real deep. Y'all want to go there real quick? Yeah. You want to go there? Yeah. I, need, I, I need two men and two women to come here real quick. Now, you know if you're a man and you know if you're a woman. Now, come on. I need two men and I need two women. There go two men. Where my two women? One. Two. All right. That's good. Come right here. Come right here. Now, you ready? Yes. Somebody say Adam. Adam. Say Eve. Eve. Say Christ. Christ. Church. Church. Adam. Adam. Eve. Eve. Christ. Christ. Church. All Adam is, is Jesus. Eve is symbolic of the church. Remember this. Remember this. For a long time, I did not understand why Adam ate the fruit. I didn't understand that. I didn't get it because if you look in the Bible, the, you can't blame Eve because the Bible says Adam was right there with her. And I didn't understand why Adam ate the fruit because Eve did not cause sin to come. Sin did not, nothing happened until Adam ate. Eve could have been replaced. Nothing happened when Eve ate the fruit. God didn't come walking in the garden until Adam ate. And the command, the first thing he said is, where art thou, Adam? Something wrong. What, Adam? What, what, why in the world did Adam eat the fruit? I didn't get that. And I believe the Lord revealed it to me. Adam was symbolic of Christ. I got Bible for that because 1 Corinthians 15 said that Jesus Christ was the last Adam. Being Adam wasn't wrong. If being Adam was wrong, Jesus wouldn't have never been the last Adam. You understand? You don't hear nobody around here talking about something they, they the last Adolf Hitler or the last Ted Bundy. You understand? So Adam couldn't have been too bad. Here we go. Adam! Symbolic. Where you going? Come back. Adam! <laughs> of Christ Eve is symbolic of the church Eve eats the fruit but Adam knows or, or any real man would not allow his wife to be left uncovered so the only way he could cover his wife is he had to take on what she had just eaten. Just like the same way Christ could cover the church is by becoming sin. Did you get that? Did y'all get that? I'm coming. Adam ate the fruit. Christ took on sin. Notice where the woman came from with Adam. She came out of his what? Side. Came out of his what? Side. Out of his what? Side. 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 I don't know what y'all saying. Out of his what? Side. I gave it an answer and I see it. Out of his what? Side. My God, give you open.
word. St. John 1, in the beginning was the what? The word was with God and the word was God. You cannot separate God from his word. You cannot do it. He is his word. My God, he said he exalted his word above his name. He is his word. Genesis 1, 26, I believe it says, and God said, let us make man. Lay hands on yourself. Say, that's me. Let us make man in our own image and after our likeness. And let them lay hands on yourself again. Say, that's me. That's me. Now, notice something going to bother me in a minute. Something going to bother you because he's calling them them, but it's only one person on the scene at the time. He's calling them Adam, but Eve ain't even showed up yet, but he's still calling them them. Something is wrong. <laughs> let us make man in our own image and after our likeness and let them have dominion. Over the fish of the sea, the fowl of the air, the cow of the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. Is that what your Bible say? Yes. When God gave that commandment, God was talking to Adam. God wanted to watch your company. The first thing you got to do for where God's taking you, you got to watch who you're hanging around. Because everybody ain't concerned about your destiny. Y'all better talk back to me. Now you got now you gotta be careful because you got some people who will smile in your face, but'll talk about you behind your back. So slap somebody up, say be careful. Slap them, slap them. Slap them again, say be careful. Just because you have people in your corner today don't mean they'll be in your corner tomorrow. The same people who were saying, Hosanna, 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 were the same people saying, crucify him. So you always got to be careful. I told y'all this weekend, you're going to give birth to something. And how many folk know that when you're getting ready to give birth to something, you don't need to be connected to people who are not interested in what you're giving birth to? Some of us are keep going. Uh, some of us keep going through the same season because we've not learned how to transition people out of our life. Y'all better talk back to me in here. Some people are only in your life for a season. You cannot make somebody temporary be permanent in your life. If God has only called them to be seasonal, you'll find yourself getting frustrated trying to make somebody permanent who's only supposed to be seasonal. So look at the person next to you today and say, somebody say, be careful. I know I told you to go to 1 Corinthians 2 and 9. Go to Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. Then when you leave Genesis 1, 26, we're going to go to Proverbs 18, 22. Then we're going to leave Proverbs 18, 22 and go to Psalm 119. <laughs> Genesis 1, 26. Now, I bring my Bible for pulpit etiquette, but I'm really, I'm really um, trying to learn the Bible by heart because the Lord spoke to me. He said, son, the more words you get in you, the more valuable you become to me. I said, what that mean? He said, I don't watch over your flesh. I watch over my word. Amen. I said, what that mean? He said, well, if you don't have no word in you, ain't nothing for me to watch over. Amen. So you got to get full of the word because when you get full of the word, God becomes obligated to you. You didn't hear what I just said. He's obligated to bless you. He's obligated to move for you. He's obligated to deliver you because he will not deny himself because he is his See, watch this, how he operated on earth. And the only way he could see how he operated on earth is he had to make somebody to imitate and mock him and do everything that he could do. When God created Adam, he did not make Adam a copy or, or, or what you call a duplicate. But when God made Adam, he made him a master copy. There's a difference between a duplicate and a master. Even though it says the same thing and does the same thing as the master, it does not have the same quality. 
when God created Adam, he created him. Bless God, I'm a preaching here. When God created Adam, he created him with the same attributes, the same character, and the same quality as himself. That's why if you notice, the last two letters of Adam's name is the name of God. Exodus 3, who shall I tell him sent me? I am. Look at the last two letters of Adam's name. Am. So when God created Adam, he...